Clean Foundation Program Officer, uh, Mr. Namdi Odo, has urged stakeholders to uh, collaborate and implement a criminal justice law to reduce uh, gender based violence in society. Speaking after a two day workshop in Asaba, uh, Odo highlighted the importance of considering gender issues and the provision of criminal justice law, emphasizing accountability and transparency. Stakeholders were looking at the gender issues uh, in terms of um, state actors' compliance to the provisions of ACJA um, in view of, from gender lens, and also looking at what are the accountability and transparency mechanisms in place to measure the compliance of state actors to the provisions of the law. So um, you witnessed all the deliberations, uh, which are quite fruitful, and it's culminated into a policy document that will be shared with the government to see how the identified challenges are improved upon the policy document. And the whole idea is that if the policy document is implemented, adopted by the government, it's going to bridge the gaps identified in implementation of this law from gender lens, enhance accountability and transparency, thereby building public trust back in the criminal justice system. Participants emphasize the importance of the Criminal Justice Act for government at all levels and utilize their modern technology for record taking in different offices. We need to engage them. Yes, is the is the Commissioner of Police, Delta State, but he has, like he said, he has his superiors. Most of the things they are also uh, victims, or let me not use the word victim. They are also affected by these disadvantages. We are talking about having um, taking a. a, a suspect statement and it's not being properly recorded they don't have such facilities in the state command which the cp yes agrees with us and in fact he's is one thing he's yearning for and then we are hoping like he said they are partnering with the state government complied with the requirements of the law uh, when it comes to gender issues and when it comes to detention when it comes to arrest and all those other protocols that are embedded in the law i will find out that um, for a number of the issues uh, the their compliance level is zero for some of them it is partial compliance and they have excuses for non-compliance in some of those areas and uh, you know, we looked at their, some of their excuses and we find that yes some of them uh, this there is a reasonability in it and that's because of the system uh, for instance the, the the system we are in, we operate in nigeria does not allow some things to to work out and so they place it and um, basically the national rights commission any events can have we partner with them to ensure the rights of citizens are carried out and protected so i would say clean for doing a very very good job by promoting the rights of the citizens and enforcing their rights as well Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.